Welcome to listen to a presentation on the role of in-house procurement according to Finnish municipalities' purchase invoice data. The research was carried out in collaboration with Minna Maria Korhonen from the Association of Finnish Municipalities, with Hannu Vilponen, Tomi Mikkonen, and with Mire Kaseketsi from University of Jyväskylä. Today I will present our research first by introducing the topic, second, the background and motivation to initiate the research, third, the research approach to describe the methods and focus groups, fourth, the results through personal and empirical conclusions, and finally presenting some concluding thoughts about our research. To begin with introduction, Finland is a Nordic EU member state with, state with 5.5 million citizens. In European Union, the member states follow a procurement directive in public purchases. However, the procurement directive allows an exception to these purchasing practices, which is the in-house procurement. Then the procurement unit, which means municipalities in this research, does not need to follow the public procurement practices. Member states also implement, may choose whether to implement the in-house procurement in their national le legislation, and Finland and Poland have chosen to do so. These countries have more narrowed in-house procurement practices than the other member states. In Finland, in-house companies are owned by different procurement units, such as municipalities, joint authorities and other in-house companies. In addition, these units must have decision-making power to the in-house company. In Finland, the in-house companies may have only limited business outside their owners. 5% and 500,000 euros, as you can see there. The goal for the research we made was to estimate how greatly municipalities in Finland depend on the ICT procurement, uh, ICT in-house procurement, and to examine also what could be the adequate ways to explore the causes and why the municipalities use or do not use the uh, ICT in-house procurement. To understand the scenario and the size of the in-house procurement in Finland, we gathered some figures. Finnish Public Information and Communication Procurement, ICT procurement, is currently worth of 1.1 billion euros, as you can see here. And in 2020, it was just over 1 billion euros. The total worth of public procurement in Finland is 45 billion euros here. And in addition, the FCCA, Finnish Competition and Consumer Authority, estimates that the total worth of in-house procurement in all sectors is yearly approximately 41 billion euros. ICT in-house procurement worth is not clear uh, in this in the time of this research and remains unknown after this research as well. Interestingly, the public discussion in Finland has focused on changing the Procurement Act to more allowing direction uh, in in-house procurement by raising the limits to sell goods and services outside the in-house company. This has inflicted a counter-reaction from the free market and because the free market values the current public procurement act highly. Currently, procurement worth from the free market is 30 billion euros, and 15 billion euros is above the national threshold. When we are discussing municipalities and in-house companies in Finland, here is a geographical presentation on one in-house company called Kuntien Tiera. Kuntien Tiera has 403 owners, and Kuntien Tiera is not an exception uh, with the high number of owners, since it seems that all the in-house companies in Finland have quite many owners. We also have quite uh, quite high number of municipalities in Finland, 309, and also over 2,000 in-house companies. Uh, in the previous slide, we saw that the turnover from in-house companies is nearly 40 41 billion euros yearly, and in small countries such as Finland, the phenomenon is quite massive. It's not, not a surprise that SCCA, Finnish Competition and Consumer Authority, has expressed its interest towards the in-house procurement 
and as well the creation of the in-house position. So next to research approach, we examine the municipalities purchase invoice data to determine how greatly the municipalities in Finland depend on the ICT in-house procurement. Furthermore, we examine what could be the adequate ways to uh, explore causes why the municipalities use or do not use ICT in-house procurement. The focus groups in this research are the largest municipalities and the essential ICT in-house companies in Finland. Eleven largest municipalities in Finland have opened their purchase invoice data, and that's why they receive a closer examination in this research. Shareholder information was searched uh, from the websites of the in-house companies and inquired by the email and in some cases additionally by the phone. Public documents such as shareholder agreements were used to determine whether the in-house position existed. Another limitation involves the purchase invoice accounts. Uh, Aura is an official handbook maintained by Ministry of Finance that gives guidelines for the mandatory economic reporting of municipalities and joint, joint municipal authorities. It contains, um, contains um, the information we needed to ensure the comparability between the accounts uh, of different municipalities. Uh, all purchases from chosen ICT in-house company uh, were chosen to be inspected. In addition, we chose the year 2022 to be the reference year for all of the municipalities. So let's move to results. This table here presents uh, the, dif the differences in relying on the in-house procurement in Finland. We will present our results in personal empirical conclusions. And the first personal empirical, empirical conclusion is that municipal autonomy in Finland is quite high. The municipalities in Finland have the autonomy, autonomy to acquire independent solutions from in-house companies or from the free market, which is visible in the results as well. Um, however, municipal autonomy results in non-standardized ICT procurement uh, or purchasing practices, and as it can be imaginable, this, uh, solutions vary highly. This leads to challenges within the organization to um, build effective and interoperable systems. Moreover, based on the results, some municipalities have direct access to the uh, best products in the market, and some uh, municipalities, in contrast, have to uh, adapt what suits the best for the group of stakeholders that own the in-house company. Understanding if included municipalities have ICT service and development units within the organization needs closer examination, uh, as in-house companies may offer municipalities with limited resources divided costs in the public procurement processes. process. As you can see, uh, Tampere here has not made any purchases from the chosen ICT in-house companies. Uh, the second personal empirical conclusion is that the selection of the supplier depends on the service or product wanted. Uh, from the chosen accounts, um, we notice that each municipality purchases accounting services in a centralized manner from its one, uh, one of its own in-house companies, and this result is sensible. Uh, repetitive tasks such as accounting services are more manageable if one company provides them for the organization. The third personal and breakdown conclusion is that forming the in-house position through ownership and decision-making power is sometimes um, demanding to comprehend. We notice that in-house companies own shares of other in-house companies and even that in-house company itself made own its own shares. Uh, the ex explanation for this was found in one of the shareholder, shareholder agreements. For example, Monetra shareholder agreement uh, reveals that cross ownership between in-house companies is drafted to ensure the in-house position for the in-house company in question. In Finland, the Public Procurement Act lists that procurement units that own or other owners need to 
have the decision making power as well in the in house company um, that they wish to purchase products or services, and whether the parties that own the in house uh, have decision making power remains a topic for the future research. Uh, we would like to understand in practice that how this um, decision making power uh, can be seen in the in house in house companies' operations. Uh, and in addition, uh, more than the cross ownership might be needed to ensure the in house position and the decision making power is necessary, um, at least at le legislative demand. Uh, the fourth personal empirical conclusion is that new ownership in the in house company may, may show uh, in a way that the municipality does not have any purchases from the in house company. For example, Tampere holds an in-house position and decision-making power in Monetra, but it has no, no related purchases to that one. Uh, the ownership may, be, may have been originated from previous contracts, acquisitions and mergers, or then it might be something totally new, as we stated earlier. The fifth and final personal empirical conclusion is that we had difficulties in gathering the data uh, half of the in-house companies provided the complete shareholder information. Uh, generally, the in-house companies were uh, interested and responded to, the, to our inquiries uh, with interest and provided the names of the owners. And, uh, for example, Sarastia, Istekki and Meita provided complete shareholder information, including names and the division of the shares. Uh, in these cases, the relationship between the municipality and in-house company uh, was rather easy to uh, determine and comprehend. Uh, the scene remained vague for the ones that did not offer, offer the ownership information at all. And finally, some concluding thoughts about our research. Examining the relationship between Finnish municipalities and in-house companies reveals several future research areas to be covered. Many of the municipalities buy shares from the in-house companies to prepare themselves for the future needs. In addition, larger municipalities may have more comprehensive ICT services and development units within the organization. In this research, the in-house position was also sometimes demanding to comprehend. Determining the in-house position is also demanding for the municipalities. Uh, as an example, Finnish Competition and Consumer Authority, FCCA, has decided on, on the inadequate interpretation of in-house position in one case. The municipality or its stakeholders must participate in the decision-making in the in-house company. Uh, if they fail to do so, the le legal ramifications may follow. Interpretations on in-house position than on needs more research. Finally, um, we countered some difficulties in gathering the data and receiving information from in-house companies, which contradicts with the openness and equality principles uh, in Public Procurement Act. Half of the times, the information on shareholders' um, companies was unavailable in our case.